when you come out of a toxic or emotionally abusive relationship, and this can be family members, it can be romantic, it could be in the workplace, there are so, so many questions. And the one we're going to look at now is, why does it hurt so much? Elizabeth Goddard from Revive Your Soul. Why does it hurt so much? It hurts because you were manipulated, it hurts because you were deceived, it hurts because you were trauma bonded. You were bonded to them by the cycle of abuse. So they initially put you on a pedestal, they initially bolstered you up and they found all these amazing things about you. Um, nobody had understood them the way you understand them. Not anybody they'd ever met um, had done that for them. And they put you in this pace of um, a feeling really special and amazing. And then over a period of time, what they need to do is they're really insecure people and their fear is that you're going to abandon them. So they devalue and they discard. So they turn the things that they find amazing about you and they discard, it might be small ones, they might just disappear or they go cold on you or whatever their, their choice is because although this cycle, there's they all have their own... Um, individual ways of doing things uh, but they the cycle is the same and the stories I've heard they all have the same the cycle is exactly the same it's just different elements so it hurts so much because you trusted this person there's oxytocin that's released in the body and oxytocin is a bonding um, hormone and it's released um, when a woman's pregnant, around about four months um, into the pregnancy, it's uh, released when she's about to, uh, the mother's about to give birth, and it's released when um, the mother breastfeeds. It's a bonding hormone. It's designed to make that connection, um, mother and child connection, to bond them. And once you're bonded as a child, you these people you see, um, you you they're your tribe. You trust them. You turn to them. And what's happened in these relationships is also um, released during sex as well. And what's happening is you're bonding into a relationship. Um, that you believe is is uh, healthy, that you believe is true, um, you're bonding to a person and they're doing this to take the power and control of your life. What they're wanting is to put you in a position that um, you won't abandon them, you won't hurt them in any way and that's their biggest fear that you're going to abandon them and in truth eventually what they do is they abandon you and they cause you a lot of pain, and this is the pain. You got addicted to the chemicals that were released, and um, it's described as as like coming off um, uh, as like heroin heroin addicts. Um, you know, it's that same addiction to the dopamine, which is um, a, an addictive drug as well, that's re that's released in these relationships. So it, it's the, the chemicals that you're addicted to and the thoughts that keep going around, around the questioning. You're, you're trying to get back to that place in the at the beginning of the relationship where you felt safe and secure and you're prepared to do anything to get there. You, they trick you into believing, you know, everything that they say is true, and uh, and that they're um, these amazing people. And you get hooked in, and you don't want to see the negatives. You might see the wraith flags. You might see things that you question, um, and that that's them dropping the mask. And the mask is, is the person that they play, the role they play, and they they 
ask so many questions they're so interested to a level that you maybe you've never experienced before someone having that much in uh, interest in you and and i believe a lot of this stuff comes back down to our childhood to childhood wounds you know that there might be something that you need to heal and this is why they've walked into your life but it hurts so much because you were uh, bonded, um, chemically bonded, and you're trying to get those those chemical reactions back. They've just walked away. They've drained you of everything. They suck the life out of you. They um, they. I've heard someone say it's like being raped on raped on so many different levels, and I completely understood it when I heard it. I remember going through a huge stage of not wanting to believe that what was happening was happening and um, and thinking and every time I started to get to realize that this wasn't this wasn't right and I'd been lied to or um, deceived in some way I then went back because of this gaslighting that had gone on and I don't know they can't be like that because and and this can't be right because I'm the only person that ever understood them and this can't be what's going on because and I justified oh my god the quicker you can get out of that justification stage as well you know justifying their behavior their behavior is shit it's appalling and when you come out and you can you can see it, you know, it, it, it changes your whole perspective. Trapped you, it's like Chinese water torture, and that they've over a drip, 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 it's so slow, it's done so uh, uh, manipulatively. They know exactly what they're doing. A great series, if you got Netflix, is to watch Dear John. Oh my word, when I started watching. Uh, the beginning of it, I was I was hooked, but the last two or th- three episodes, they actually showed the other side of how he was manipulating the family, and it's about a woman who's a little bit older, goes internet dating and meets a guy, and he's a serial data, he's a serial, he does this, you know, he, he goes around and manipulates so many different women, and so many different relationships, and he's been done for stalking, and all sorts of things, and he manages to, um, through the love bombing, she's, you know, she finds him amazing, but what he's done is, he's, um, he's just lied he is you know he's the victim in his marriage his wife was the one that wouldn't let him see the children and you know and and when you actually hear the other side of it he was abusing drugs he was stealing drugs from um the hospital that he worked in um the relationship broke down um, for two reasons. The relationship broke down was um, the, the wife was actually at a conference and they worked together, husband and wife, they did the same job. And she helped him in that, uh, in, in securing that, that career and training and, um, and, and boosting his career. And uh, one of the people that they work with worked with, uh, approached her and said, look, I've seen him stealing drugs. He's giving, uh, I don't know what he's giving the patients, but I saw him and she said it, this wasn't a, um, he's done this before. It was so smooth the way he'd done it. And the other, and the other thing that sort of cemented the two happened around about the same time was, uh, uh, the wife was at a conference and she was chatting to this woman and they were talking about families. And she said, uh, and this woman was saying, oh, I'd never felt that I wanted children until I've, I've met someone, I've been dating him for 10 months. And then she, the wife puts on her, her jacket and it's got, or a cardigan with uh, her name on it. And she said, what did you say your name was? And they made the connection. He was actually dating um, this woman. And so, you know, the, the trauma, so with, with Dirty John, you know, if you're too traumatized, there's ones like you know some other ones like um, Girl on a Train, and and some of them they might trigger you initially. So be careful and look after yourself. You know, the last thing you want to do is be re-traumatizing yourself. But if you need help understanding what's going on, if you need help 
realizing that you know th this is going on in workplaces it's also happening in families and um, as well as relationships it, it helps you understand how you were deceived and tricked and manipulated and lied to and cheated on <clears throat> and you can move on quicker then do it there was a huge wound you know that that needed healing and now is your chance to do that healing and to take this opportunity and to look after yourself and uh, believe me it is an amazing opportunity and there might be days that you feel on the floor I remember being on the floor crying by the side of my bed you know and some of it I really wanted to because I've experienced it before if you let the tears flow until you've got nothing left you actually start to cry, to laugh so that sobbing can turn into laughter and that's when you know that you've got rid of that there may be so many different levels of it anyway you might might you know but you can move on and the guilt oh my god the first time i laughed i felt so guilty that i was enjoying myself because i felt i shouldn't be doing that this is a massive massive learning it's a, a time for you to do the healing, a time for you to um, take with both hands. And you might have been, um, you know, might not have the money or whatever it is, but see what you can do for yourself. Treat yourself and um, find little ways of rewarding yourself and find little ways of turning that inner critic off, the, the critic that's sitting there telling you that this is all your fault and what you did wrong. Because as I said in other videos, there's no foundation, there was no foundation to this relationship and that is why it crumbled. No foundation whatsoever. And the lies they told and the manipulation that went on, why would you believe what they've told you? But it's gone in so deep and they've gone in on a soul level that you believe these lies to be true. You believe everything they tell you, all these horrible things that they say to you, all these horrible things that they've done to you. You believe you're not worth it. Turn it around. Look at what they are doing. And do not, if you can... Um, if you can stop yourself, do not contact anyone. If you've seen them move on to another person, please don't contact them because they've gone on and told everybody how crazy you are. They made you crazy and then they've gone on and told everybody how crazy you are. So by making contact with someone, trying to tell people well, who this person is, is going to validate that you are crazy because they're going around playing the victim. So... Just concentrate on healing yourself. And I know how many times, you know, I ask why it hurts so much. Why was it hurting me so much? How could I let this happen? There are all sorts of questions. But this is the realisation that everything you were told is a lie. So that means that when they devalued you, they were lying to you as well. I'm going to leave you with that thought. I'm sending you lots and lots of love.